So speaking of about being proud of things, Mikey Sweet is going to go on his Sherman. He's going to ride his Sherman from Landskrona to Stockholm. Over 800 graves. Mikey, we will bury you there after a 640 kilometer ride to Stockholm. Slap rap. Slap rap. Wind noise. Ain't that pretty? Ain't that pretty, man? Best tool. Mid tongs. And the CX tire, man. I put the CX321 Dalishan tire on the Nick and it rides like a dream. There's a place in Buster Honinga, 25 kilometers away. They have uh, lunch, and after lunch, all you can eat cake. I just came for the cake. Twenty-four point five psi. Man. It's like a psi hider, hider, a psi higher than I usually ride. I can hear the tire. Not very much wind noise at this point. Generally a bit of reduced hearing. Wind noise is very much reduced with these on. Terrible. Terrible, man. I'm like Dumbo. A bit wet out today. 25 kilometer cruise. And yesterday I ran this wheel down to zero. Man. I got uh, voltage alarms at 80 volts. I count these wheels at 79.2 for zero. Voltage alarms at 35 kilometers an hour. go a tiny bit before, below 79.2, then it will tilt back. The tilt back can be pretty aggressive, but you can still ride it. So yeah. So let's put these on again for the straight blasting track. I can still hear traffic. Some of the higher frequencies get reduced. I need them anyway. I have darkness spot set to smart alarm at 64. I'm not expecting to hit it. Riding soft mode, new grip tape. My helmet has like ear holes and those just create turbulence. So some 
kind of felt on the inside of the knife. Gotcha! Poking your nose out. Total yesterday was 124 kilometers. Okay. Although I did recharge a little bit in between, from 39% to 59%. Otherwise, I would have expected 110. doing some fast parts. But yeah, getting wind noise reduced is quite a relief on this. So these got like a cost like ten dollars. Ten dollar
me tratarás ¿Qué sabes tú de mi placer? ¿Qué crees que yo te voy a hacer? ¿Qué sabes tú de mi placer? ¿Qué crees que yo te voy a hacer? vibrates a bit when you're riding it straight and it vibrates a bit less when you're leaning it. You can feel the vibration through your feet even with two pairs of huge fluffy socks. And then I start wondering, will it cost me range? Well it should, because I was basically riding a slick before.
sound of crying children leaving the wheel. Lovely. 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 Funny as hell. Oopsie. Approaching Vester Hahn again. Amazing. There's a little button. percent less. But yeah, getting a uh, hundred kilometers, you know, on a charge. I'm good. No matter what, you know, you'll always use whatever range you have. Thomas goes on really long cruises. He takes his, his charger, he charges at uh, seven amps. Talk about long cruises, man. About Mikey. 640 kilometer cruise coming up, man. Tire needs this whole bike back. This means think about the distance. This means think about the cakes. Look at them cakes. Look at them cakes, man. Look at them cakes. Dear Lord, look at this. The jitterbug. You put the boom boom into my heart. Salted caramel, sugar pretzel, eggs, butter, vanilla cream, a blue bear, blue bear, <laughs> blueberry, blue balls, wiener. Uh, look at this man. Look at this. These are insane. Look. This is like the best I've ever seen. This is like the highest quality that I've ever seen in my life. It just goes on and on and on. On and on and on and on. Crazy. Crazy. Look at this stuff, man. Look at this stuff. Sandwiches. Juices. Yep, here comes the exciting part. This is the actual cake buffet. So this cake buffet, it's like you come here, you order lunch for like $11. So I got tandoori chicken and this is the cake buffet. So this is like, you can, this is all you can eat cake. And I'm like, hey, that's not bad. It's not bad. And uh, very nice place. It's good. Oh yeah. 
Tandoori chicken, potatoes, and some nice curry dressing. So it's not tandoori chicken, it's tandoori spiced chicken. It's a very nice, healthy looking plate. Look at that. Look at that. Chicken was very, very nicely spiced. Very nice curry. Curry sauce, curry dressing. So the, the quality of the chicken was very good. And the potatoes, man. It's like hand picked potatoes with love. Oh, really nice. I'm very particular when it comes to chickpeas. Lovely. Nice chickpeas. They are the kind of chickpeas that make me sad. They're like too crunchy. Very nice. Like the, the texture was great. So everything tastes great. There you go. That means that I didn't have to come here and force myself to eat so that I can have the while well, you can eat cake. I can actually enjoy my food. And then enjoy some cake. Wow. Wow. Very nice combo, very nice tasting combo with the uh, corn, actually. I myself probably would have not had uh, corn in there, but the corn actually enhanced it and made it, and made it very, very nice and flavorful. So it's nice when you eat something, and afterwards you can't say, I could have done better myself, because I couldn't have done better myself in this case. The, I would not have achieved that level of uh, of chicken and the chicken was just amazing the chicken is like really really nice quality chicken so yeah and a generous amount of chicken as well this is what it's like when i cut the chicken perfectly cooked oh look at that huge potato perfectly cooked chicken you know and nicely made into nice fillets so you don't have to have like one thick huge uh, chicken breast fillet that is dry on the outside and sad on the inside and no one's happy man no one's happy all right so this is what my plate looks like when I eat because if you don't eat up your food your mother will slap you and then tell you that there are children in Africa that are starving they call this princess torta princess cake there's an interesting looking chocolate cake. There's some kind of forest fruit cake, some fromage cake, which is raspberry, and that will probably be passion fruit fromage cake. Looking good. And hand disinfectant. And even the water is fancy. Cucumber, lemon, bell pepper. All right, so I started off with a nice creamy, creamy plate and then I will do the fruity ones I think I'm gonna like the chocolate one but yeah fun times coffee included good coffee yeah. juicy fluffy cake very nice and fresh. Oh, damn. The chocolate one, I knew it. Amazing, amazing. I'll just come here and eat $10 of chocolate cake next time. That's what I'll do. And look at that fluffiness. Super nice, really fresh, fruity flavor. So amazing stuff. The only place you can find cakes like these are at very, 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 very good bakeries, which, funnily enough, this happens to be like one of Sweden's best bakeries. Ta da! Awesome, awesome. All right, I'm gonna try these fruity ones, and of course, uh, have to call reinforcements, Mr. Chocolate. Gotta make sure the fruit stays in line there. So yeah, uh, 15 minutes left. 
of this uh, all you can eat. I think I'm pretty pretty happy for now. But uh, yeah, I am a pig. Let's try the raspberry piece of chocolate there with the TM symbol. That's their logo. Very zingy and fruity. Very nice. With a chocolate sponge cake bottom. Oh, they know. They know. Normally not my style of cake with this fruity fruity mousse. Because I have a crazy sweet tooth. I just like things to be really really sweet. Ah, oh, the passion fruit one seems to have an uh, almond bottom instead. Passion fruit is like very perfumey tasting. Also there was a blueberry. Nice blueberry. Yeah. Yeah. Bought it. A bit coconut. Chocolate. Well, no surprise that it's coconut. Because it's tropical. And this is just like. Mousse, you know, like a foam. I think this chocolate needs a second opinion though. Look at all this goo. Mm. Of chocolate, man. Dark chocolate. Chocolate is the one. The chosen one. I'm the kind of guy that eats Nutella with a spoon. So. Rich tasty. So for me it's a touching thing, a touching thing to find people who still care in these days, these times, right? So look, they work with an open window here, right? It's like full transparency because they're proud of what they do. It, you know, it's great. So speaking of, about being proud of things, Mikey Sweet is going to go on his Sherman. He's going to ride his Sherman from Landskrona to Stockholm. So he's doing this on Friday. He's going to be riding 640 kilometers and he guesses that he will be in Stockholm around Saturday late afternoon towards the evening. So me and him are going to meet up. I booked the sauna because he's Finnish. I booked the sauna. So we're going to have some sauna time. And uh, yeah, maybe a couple of beers. And then maybe he can take a power nap and then we'll do some chill cruising. Because, you know, he suspects it's going to be a 24 hour long ride. So I'm going to put the link in the description. So that you see, I'm going to put the link to this place in the description. So that you get that. I'm not going to put a link to the CX tire in the description because uh, you can't buy that one anymore. And uh, I can put a link to the earmuff thingies. And these, you know. Uh, in, in a perfect world, I would like if they didn't bunch up here, you know. Because it makes me feel less self worth. <laughs> and that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Some things, they never change. Women from the olden age. There you go. Buried right there. 500 years BC. Welcome to this magnificent pagan cemetery. 
The site is well known amongst archaeologists due to the great variety of its numerous monuments. There are now more than 800 visible graves and many more hidden under the surface. Fun times. The cemetery is the largest in Scandinavia from the early Iron Age. A contemporary cemetery was once located in Orbi, about 800 meters to the south. Cool stuff? Cool stuff. This is only like 10, mi 10 minutes away. Oh yeah, bonk it. Bonk those graves. So they say that the gravestones that are erect are the ones that belong to the men. Hey, okay? no surprise. No surprise. There was a sign further back saying that no horses were allowed here, but I'm not a horse. I'm not a horse. Look at that. Look at that. Gonna bonk this ever so gently. Whoa, whoa. So there you go. Speaking of Vikings, I would just put all the children here. Just rally them all up, throw them in a little hole. Subscribe. Por favor, quédate